Lean on us. We are here for you. You matter. You are not alone. Are you feeling overwhelmed? Not sure where to turn? The National Suicide and Crisis Lifeline is there for you. 24-7. Call or text 988 or chat at 988sc.org. Whether you're having an emergency or you know someone who needs support now, they can help you take the next step towards finding hope and healing. There is hope. 988sc.org. Are you struggling to conceive? You have options, and at Piedmont Reproductive Endocrinology Group, we'll make sure you have the guidance and support you need. Preg is known for individualized fertility care that's unique to every patient. We take the time to provide a reassuring and empowering experience because we believe that you deserve nothing less. Let us help you on your journey to parenthood. Visit us at pregonline.com to learn more. Get the guidance and support you need at Piedmont Reproductive Endocrinology Group. Hey, it's Jim Chapman reminding you that if you have not heard about Anchor, it's the easiest way to make a podcast. Let me explain. One, it's free. Two, there's creation tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer. Three, Anchor will distribute your podcast for you so it can be heard on Spotify, Apple Podcast and many more platforms. You can make money from your podcast with no minimum listenership. It's really everything you need to make a podcast in only one place. It makes it easy, folks. So do me a favor, download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. Hi, it's Trisha Johnston, residential realtor with Ladder and Bloom with your real estate tip of the week. Last time I discussed a couple of options for getting started in real estate investing. Today, I'll share five of the many ways that you can use to come up with a down payment or the full purchase price. First, you can get a home equity line of credit on your current home. You'll need to have equity in that house and you shouldn't be considering selling in the next year or so. Second, if you already own some other investment property, you may be able to use that as collateral. Third, if you have a LLC set up for your investment business, you may be able to get a business line of credit. Fourth, you could borrow against a Roth IRA. And fifth, you may want to ask somebody to be a real estate investing partner with you and you can combine your funds. There are so many options for getting started building your real estate investment business. You can chat with your CPA, a financial planner, and an experienced realtor to find out which option is best for you. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to call. I'm Tricia Johnston with Ladder and Bloom, and I'll be back here next week with another real estate tip for you. It's Mardi Gras season and Premier Credit is ready to throw you some cash. Any loan, any reason, and fast. For more information, call 225-667-8100 or apply online at premiercredit.com. Premier Credit, a proud sponsor of Local Leaders, the podcast. All right, it's season four, episode 11 of Local Leaders of the Podcast, and I'm excited to have these folks sitting in front of me right now. This is Maurice Scooter Keen and Miss Kay Keen of the Quick and Handy Cleaners. If you've been around Livingston Parish for a little while, you definitely know who these two folks are. Uh, in addition to that, Scooter, you are on the Livingston Parish Council as well, so you have a lot going on there, and I want to get into all that, but my goal for today is to let people know who you are outside of just cleaning their clothes and all those sorts of things, because y- y'all, y'all are some interesting people. I've been in your, uh, your cleaner several times and, uh, and love just sitting there and talking and catching up and all those sorts of things. Been a long time customer myself, so... Mm-hmm. 
uh, look forward to talking all that with you and you. And I want to welcome both of you to Local Leaders the Podcast. Thank you. Appreciate it. Now, Miss Kay, 35 years yes. you have been married to this man right here. So yes. I want to commend you for that. Very Thank good. You. Thank you. <laughs> she always I never, gets that. I don't understand. I, I never get a word in, so, never, but I'm used to it. <laughs> you used to it. That's right. So uh, along the way, you've had some kids. You've had some grandkids. And, and uh, so let's talk a little bit about your family. Okay. Uh, we have three kids. Yep. Uh, Olivia, uh, she's been married. Uh, married and have, just has our grand new grandbaby, yeah. little boy named George. Oh. And then we have our middle son, Reese, who his wife is Catherine, and they okay. live in Baton Rouge, and they yeah. just had a new little baby, Addie, yeah. little baby girl. Oh. That's our first two grandchildren this year, 2020. Yeah. And then we have Patrick, who works for us in the afternoons, and he is going to Southeastern. Yeah. So, um, yeah. So and she she left out my son-in-law, Bo. Oh, yeah, yeah. my son-in-law, uh, Bo. Who's married to Olivia, and he's a... Uh, He's a brain trust in that part of the family. So. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Shout no, they're, out. To, they're both great people, but they, they're they're brilliant. So. Shout out to Bo. Yeah. Shout out to Bo. Since I didn't, huh? <laughs> Very good. And I'll tell you, I've met uh, your, I guess it's your youngest son, mm-hmm. the one that works Patrick, at Quick. Yes, what a mannerly uh, young man. Well, thank you. I don't thank know you. where that came from. I, was, I, I, don't know, know, I, I tried I was, to ruin him. It didn't work. <laughs> a very well-spoken young man, yeah. too, thank which you. really impressed me. And a matter of fact, I messaged Scooter and I said, man, you have a really, you just mannerly young man you've raised there. Well, thank you. Thank yeah. you. Uh, he's an Eagle Scout. So he's, oh, he's really? kind of had, mm-hmm. we've had lots of, lots, lots of, of help. Training. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh yeah. The, 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 the scout troop really brought him around. He, he was real loner. Didn't yeah. want to do a whole lot. Yeah. And didn't want to be in the scouts. Yeah. And they said, no, no, you're staying. <laughs> and then he. Just took his to way it, through yeah. and uh, became the leader of the troop, you know, and, yeah. and stepped up and made a, made his Eagle Scout. Well, and that's a major accomplishment <laughs> it is. because mm-hmm. that's a commitment. I yep. mean, as y'all know from mm-hmm. raising an Eagle Scout, it's uh, it really teaches you early in life about starting something and seeing it to completion, right? Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. That's so right. That's fantastic, and it definitely shows. He's well spoken. I'm thinking he's a he's a politician in the making, oh, right there. <laughs> I don't know. We don't. We don't, we'll we don't do politicians. <laughs> yeah. No. 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 He's a, he's a fantastic young man. So yes. kudos for that. Uh, Scooter and and Miss K, y'all have been uh, operating uh, quick and handy cleaners for a while now, huh? Mm-hmm. Oh Lord, yes. Long, long time. Uh, but what some folks may be surprised to know about y'all is that you're actually a second generation business, right? That's correct. So uh, tell me about that. Well, my my parents bought Quick and Handy probably in 1973, mm-hmm. and we moved to Holden wow. from Baton Rouge. Holden. And, you know, I already had some kin folks that lived out there, so my, my grandparents were there, so mom wanted to be closer to, the, to them. Yeah. And so my stepdad, Gordon Thompson, is yeah. who raised me. My dad died when I was like two, two years, three years old. Okay. And so Gordon raised me. Yeah. The most fantastic stepfather you could have ever asked for. Awesome. You know, I wasn't a step kid. Right. I was his kid. Yeah. And uh, he was a school teacher in East Baton Rouge, and they thought that they would be okay living in Holden. Mama was just going to be a housewife type, you know. Yeah. That didn't last six months, and she's like, oh, no, we got I got to go back into dry cleaning because she had been in dry cleaning her whole life since she was 13. Wow. At, in Baton Rouge at uh, Dutch Cleaners. Yeah, I, and, uh, I remember Dutch yeah, Cleaners. And she sold it to a man that had worked for him since he was like, 13. 13 years old, Bobby mm-hmm. Williams. Wow. And so we moved to Holden. Yeah. Well, she goes and she talks to Mr. Gully and Mrs. Gully. They had this little small cleaners in, in, Springs. in Denham Springs. And she she set up a deal and bought it. Yeah. And immediately went to work. I think they were doing $750 in sales a week. And in the next month, they were doing $2,000 a week. Come on. That's you know, a percentage of mm-hmm. jump there. But her customers from Baton Rouge said, Juanita's back in business. We have got to go to Quick and Handy out in Denham. Fantastic. Yeah. So and, you uh, got it in the blood, basically. Oh, yeah. I was, I was raised in a buggy, you know, yeah. in the back. <laughs> yeah. And they, she would drag me around since I, I, as soon as I was born. Amazing. And, uh, mm-hmm. So it was great. And then, you know, I graduated from Walker High in 83, started mm-hmm. Southeastern, and, you know, I'd been – 
going up on the weekends and that in the evenings and helping and doing things. But I played football and baseball, so that took out two thirds of the year. I couldn't go work in the afternoons like Patrick and my other kids did. And uh, one day I'm at Southeastern. Of course, we didn't have cell phones yet back then in nah. eight, in '83. Yeah. Um, I get home and the phone rings, and it's Mama. I said, "What?" She said, I just fired every employee. You start tomorrow at 5 a.m. Your college is over. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> and so I got a <clears throat> trial by fire. Yeah. That... And it was the greatest thing. She taught me every aspect. I started out pressing blue jeans and khaki pants. Okay. Yeah. And then I moved to washing things and dry cleaning things. And she she was made, made sure everything was absolutely perfect. You know, wow. and then we got busy. And I'd been dating Kay the whole time, you know. Yeah. And uh, now, how did y'all meet? We met. <laughs> she actually, I, they had a place called Rabbits in Holden. It was a little restaurant. Yeah. And I was sitting in there one day, and a friend of mine, Dwayne Horman, best <laughs> friend I ever had in my life. He saved my life many a nights. Okay? Yeah. He come walking in. I said, "Oh, hey, Dwayne!" And this, the most beautiful person I'd ever laid eyes on this lady yeah was with him, my best friend who lived at my house oh oh and i said oh, who is that oh she's new she's from chalmette i said well, that and mine <laughs> and she was <laughs> i had to break it to old Dwayne and said Dwayne, you know buddy i hate to tell you <laughs> and i chased her problem boy. and i chased her and i chased her and i finally caught her <laughs> yeah yeah and, uh, and it's been like that ever since i mean we we started dating when she was 13 years old. Wow. Mm-hmm. Really? Wow. Yeah. Long yeah. time. Long, Long time. Long, beautiful black hair. And I was like, oh, my God, look at this. Yeah. And she's still like that today. Yeah, you know? Indeed. I, I wouldn't, wouldn't know how to react any other way without my wife. Yeah. I couldn't get by in life. Wow. That awesome. So you're watching, you know, this guy, this cleaning, uh, clothes cleaning savant over here practically. <laughs> and, uh, as he's, as he's going through life and he probably called you and said, Oh yeah, I'm leaving college. I got to go help mama. <laughs> yeah. yeah pretty <laughs> much. It, it, she was working at learners in Hammond yeah, the little and, store at, the mall. in the mall. Yeah. And it wasn't too long after we got married. Mom was, uh, we need help. You yeah. need to get Kay in here. Yeah. So when she came, she taught her everything too, book wise, everything. And uh, then in '95, they said, "We don't need to be here anymore. Y'all want to buy it? <laughs> yeah, we want to buy it. Yeah. So we bought it, and how was that? Twenty six years ago. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's been a while. And uh, well, been through many, many different changes. Moved from Centerville Street to a, from a ratty. Leaking old building that Katrina just did a number on. Thank God we were already in the process of building our new one. We were, it was so bad we we had to press holding uh, umbrellas over our heads when it was wow. raining. Wow! And yeah. uh, we got out of that to what would you see on Railroad Avenue? Beautiful I said, store. I said, baby, we're just Beautiful. gonna build a metal building, put a brick front on it. She goes, No, you certainly are not. This is <laughs> our city. Yeah, we want to make it better. It was the old four star ham building was where we are. Yeah. And we bought it, tore it down, and that was her vision, what you see, that big red brick building to match downtown Dunn Springs. It it really does too. Yeah. And it's it's a, actually, in my opinion, a breathtaking building. It has a lot of nostalgia to it, but it's very um it's hard to describe. It's very nostalgic, but at the same time, it's just absolutely beautiful, as if you've stepped back in time almost. The way it's shaped is what I love about it most. Mm-hmm. We had that conversation, and mm-hmm. probably the most beautiful building, in my opinion, in Denham Springs uh, of this time period, really. Right. Um, just so Shout out Thank to you, Miss Kay. You did Thank a great you. job. She wouldn't have it any other way. She goes, it doesn't matter what it cost us. We owe this to Dim Springs. Yeah. And I've done some That's interviews awesome. before and explained to people that everything we've ever had, yeah. homes, cars, clothes, were from the people of Livingston Parish. Yeah. If it wasn't for those people frequenting my business, our business, we wouldn't have anything. Yeah. You know? Mm-hmm. And they'll go, oh, you'd have been working somewhere else and you'd have been... but. We deal with people on their worst days, on their best days. You know, when people come in and say, you know, I lost a loved one. Can you get their clothes ready? We need to take them to the funeral home. We do that. And then they'll come in when their kids are getting married and Mm -hmm. proms. Yeah. And so we get to see every 
aspect of everybody's lives. Yes, you really do. And that's a that's an amazing way of looking at it too. And I'm I'm gonna get a little more in depth yeah. into okay. that. Mm-hmm. Um, one of the questions I asked you in that little pre-questionnaire was in regard to positive influences in your lives in general. Now, both of you said your families. Mm-hmm. Um, family support is obviously really important in life, you, you know, regardless of the path. Whether you're working for somebody else, you're starting your own business, you always want the support of your family. But how instrumental was your family support, especially early on when you were running a business? One thing I noticed, and I want to mention this is um, when I got married, had kids, uh, my mother-in-law pretty much raised our kids. We were working parents, and, of course, we were there every night Mm -hmm. and every morning, but we would bring them to Mama's house, and and Mm -hmm. we'd go to work and pick them up on the way home. And and, uh, I told my wife told me one time, she said, this is just what people around here do, you know, and and, uh, what a blessing it was. When I was building a business, have that support. Mm-hmm. Y'all had support similar? Oh well, my gosh, yes. we, well, because, you know, we were, so basically we worked for his parents for 10 years and then they worked with us for 10 years, Yeah, you know? Yeah. And so um, we, we were all, I mean, for 20 years, we were all there together, you yeah. know? Wow. Usually and 10, so, 12 hours a day. Yeah. Yeah. You know? So it was funny because my mother-in-law would, you know, we, we were busy and we'd all be working and, you know, this is when we were young. And, and so we had Olivia, our oldest, and um, my father-in-law would say, is it time for us to get I, you know, I got to go get that meant go pick yeah. her up Yeah, because yeah. That, as soon as she would walk in the, in the cleaners, you know, his mother would just light up and, Aww. you know, she would just put everything down and not stress out about anything. And yeah. So he was always, is it time to go get, is it time to go get? <laughs> yeah, cause as it was nearing the end of the day and we had been rolling, rolling, rolling you know? all day long, oh, yeah. we were all frustrated and stressed it's hot and, and, you know, and yeah. so you get the baby girl and. Boy, yeah. Yeah. Everything yeah. goes better, you know. Fantastic. Yeah. So uh, huge support. Her yeah. parents also, though, then, um, her mom, by then, when they moved to Holden, didn't work anymore. Yeah. And she would actually come help us at the cleaners sometimes. Some, day, yeah, yeah. One yeah. Day some days week. every week. Yeah. Because we would need the help. Sure. And, uh, you know, but when she wasn't at the cleaners, we lived on, on in the Willows on Willowbrook. Yeah. And, uh, you know, we... They would pick the babies up. And well, it would all the need, holidays, you know? you know, when the daycares were closed, right, yeah. or you know, yeah. they, you, she you was couldn't there even to... measure how 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 much of a big deal that was Huge. because we couldn't take off. Yeah, there was just no way. Yeah, 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 and and uh, yeah, if you wouldn't have had that support, we, you know, what would you have done? Uh, things you know, would have been the... totally different if she had to be out of the business um, and not helping me and my parents. Yeah, because you know, we work like this all day. Yeah, mm-hmm. you know, and yeah. So it, it really is. You have to be you great. You know, so much gratitude for you know what you have and and that Absolutely. your parents. And now as as we're grandparents, you know, we're still working in our business. And so you know, my daughter and her husband are both attorneys. Sure. So okay, you know, what are they going to do? And right. they live in Metairie. So it's like you know how how can we help them yes. like our parents helped us yes. you know yeah i get it 100% yeah. and and uh wow what a what a blessing family is mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. uh, Tiffany Seacard with Home Key Mortgage combines the experience and knowledge you need to make your mortgage loan a smooth stress-free process Reach out to Tiffany for more information on the vast mortgage programs available in the Livingston Parish area. Tiffany Seacard of Home Key Mortgage, a proud sponsor of Local Leaders, the podcast. Uh, now, another thing that was on that questionnaire, and this really was a, a touching thing to me when I read this, and I'm like, man, I'm, I'm going to quote this word for word, is we asked about a motto in, in, in the response I got, and I thought this was very important to get perfect. So it, you basically said, always strive to do the best job with every piece of fabric that we get. Some people might look at a worn out shirt and think, that's just an old worn out shirt. But we think, but they that may be the best shirt that they have to wear. So we treat each piece with care. That really says it all, doesn't it? Yeah. You you know, um, 
I had never really thought of it like that, but you're right. It, it might be a shirt that maybe some people may see and, and not think that's the best shirt in a wardrobe, but to somebody that might be their best. Yeah. And to look at it like that is huge. Makes me proud to, to be a customer of yours, really. We um, had some customers wow. for years that would bring in, I'm talking about 20 years, the same three or four pieces of clothing, mm-hmm. but they wore it to church. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And they would bring them, and that's what they would wear every week. Yeah. And so every week we got the stains out, we got anything done, pressed them up perfect so they were ready to go, you know. And we yeah. have people like that now that may bring in one shirt. Yeah. That shirt may be the most important piece they have. That may, Maybe they're going on an interview. Maybe they're going to to a job that the boss said, look, tomorrow you need to wear your best shirt because the I'm sending you somewhere. Or, yeah, you something know? like that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So <clears throat> every piece is our most important piece. Yeah, you know, it's, that's a great way to look at it, and and uh, speaks volumes for for what y'all think about your business. Um, you know, I I am the the world's most forgetful person if I don't write something down, but I'll leave things in my pocket all the time. I cannot tell you how many times I've went to Quick and Handy, dry cleaned my clothes, and had a twenty dollar bill in there. Not that I have twenty dollar bills all the time, but <laughs> <laughs> I sound like a millionaire over here. But yeah. but I will forget money in my pockets a lot, and uh, if my wife doesn't get to it first, it gets <laughs> it gets to Quick and Handy cleaners, and uh, it's and in an envelope. it's always in an envelope. <laughs> That's right. Uh, yeah. You know, so, um, which honesty, I would imagine in your business is huge. It's Mm -hmm. an important thing. Oh, yeah. That my girls, you know, you know, right now we're just five of us in the front. But, you know, Natalie and Bridget are there every day and Patrick with us. And, you know, they've just been working. only us and three people. Yeah, they work in, you know, working there with us. And they're, they're honest, good people. And they just, you know. They get they're giving us an opportunity to be here today. Cause they're yeah. working, and they were today snowed under too. They were snowed under, so uh, they were busy. Wow. Mm-hmm. And but, you know, and then we have everybody in production too. So yeah, and mm-hmm. let's talk about that for a minute. So uh, you know, employees play a big role mm-hmm. in a business. Can't it, do it without them. Can't yeah. do it without them. And and us as business owners get ourselves out there so much. And then you've mm-hmm. got to make sure your employees are taking care of your customers. Correct. How important are employees to oh your my business? Gosh. Absolutely important. And, you know, yeah. it, talking about, it's like, it, as being the leaders, you have to be the one that sets the tone. Yes. You know, and, and so our girls, like, like uh, on Wednesdays, we go to Mass. And so they our girls go, they open for us on every Wednesday morning. Yeah. And so they're doing the inspection of the clothes and, you know, till we get there. Yeah. And they inspect just the oh, way we do. I think you know? they inspect yeah. harder than I do. <laughs> Bridget, Bridget will, will hand me something that I have inspected and go, look, there's a little tiny grease spot on that dress shirt right there. And I'm like, okay, I'll go get it out right there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, but they know, and, and the way that they treat the customers, and, you know, they, they try to, to well, the way that, you know, that we would represent. Well, we all yes. know that without I our know. customers, mm-hmm. we're not there. Yeah. Right. You know, we, there's no way. I, and and like I said, Dental Springs, Livingston Parish has been so good to us yeah. our whole lives. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, when we have our stations in Walker and Watson, so we have our ladies out there, too. And yeah. so they, they – our customers there don't see us right at all, ever you right know? <laughs> yeah so we'll but you know people have been doing business with us for so long you know they'll see us in walmart or in the store in a restaurant yeah. and they'll say oh we love miss k over at walker or we yeah. love miss eva watson you yeah. know yeah. Or, you know so yeah it's, they're it's an extension to, of us you know yes you got I, that's yeah, right they're an extension yeah. of me and uh Hopefully they carry themselves better than I do sometimes because I'll get distraught about something and they just take it, run with it, and, and say, "Well, he'll be okay in a little while." You yeah. Know? <laughs> uh, well, I'll tell you from a from a customer standpoint, uh, I will tell you that they are really great people to interact with with my dry cleaning. I mean, mm-hmm. I go in there and they always know my name. I feel like I'm in Cheers and <laughs> and uh, and you know they'll small talk with me and mm-hmm. and uh, and those things are important because you want to feel welcome. I don't know if y'all have ever been anywhere where you walk in and people almost seem aggravated to wait that on you're you. There. Yeah. yeah, but it's a, it's somewhere I don't I don't go back too often when that happens. Mm-hmm. But I'll tell you what, they're happy to see me when I walk in the cleaners. <laughs> well, that's good. That's good. Yeah, it, that's absolutely important because I, I used to tell some of my employees they said, "Why is such and such so grumpy every morning?" Yeah, I said, "I don't know. Maybe 
home life isn't great. I said, but you can change it for them. Yeah. What do you mean? Good morning, Miss Smith. How are you doing today? Oh, it ain't really. Well, I think it's wonderful that you came by to see us. You yeah. Know? Yeah. Uh, you know, it'll it'll be okay. Yeah. Well, you know, wait, what was I mad about? Yeah. Wait, yeah. change somebody's day. That's right. It's mm-hmm. easy. Give yeah. a man a hug. And people are like, you can't be hugging. Well, you can't now. <laughs> <laughs> can't be hugging, folks. But, but, you know, you can. the very simplest thing you can do to change somebody's day is say, good morning, how are you doing today? And if they're having a terrible day, they'll either tell you about it or maybe they'll forget yes. what For that moment, one little thing it. was at mm-hmm. home. That My brother-in-law died suddenly, and now my sister and her kids have to sell their home. That's why I told my husband we could not put off getting life insurance any longer. An agent offered us a 10-year, $500,000 policy for nearly $50 a month. Then we called SelectQuote. SelectQuote found us identical coverage for only $19 a month, a savings of $369 a year. Whether you need a $500,000 policy or a $5 million policy, Select Quote could save you more than 50% on term life insurance. For your free quote, go to SelectQuote.com. SelectQuote.com. That's SelectQuote.com. Select Quote. We shop, you save. Full details on example policies at selectquote.com slash commercials. Hello, it is Ryan, and we could all use an extra bright spot in our day, couldn't we? Just to make up for things like sitting in traffic, doing the dishes, counting your steps, you know, all the mundane stuff. That is why I'm such a big fan of Chumba Casino. Chumba Casino has all your favorite social casino style games that you can play for free anytime, anywhere with daily bonuses. That should brighten your day a little. Actually, a lot. So sign up now at chumbacasino.com. That's ChumbaCasino.com. No purchase necessary. VTW. Void. We're prohibited by law. See terms and conditions. 18 plus. That's and right. And they won't take it out on somebody else later. That's right. That's right. What a great way to look at that. Now, you have several locations. Let's mm-hmm. talk about that a little bit uh, okay. on your location. All right. We have a store in Walker that's been out there since 1984. Yeah. There you yeah. Go. Um, and where is that located? It's, it's in the Carter's Shopping Center. Okay, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. And, but just two doors down from Carter's. They're right next to Goodwill, Goodwill. right there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. And um, so we've been out there. Actually, our old location got bought out, and they built the CVS across the street. Yeah, so we moved we had over to move. there. Yeah. So, okay. um, so we've been out there a while, and we got two Sharons that work for us. Yeah, Sharon Sharons. in the morning and Sharon, Sharon in, in the evening. <laughs> um, Who waited on you, Sharon? <laughs> okay. <laughs> That'll get yeah. That'll that'll get confusing. Really nice ladies, and then we have uh, in the Oak Point Shopping Center. We have our location in Watson. Yeah, and uh, we have Miss Eva and Miss Diane out there. And, Excellent. Um, so they've been working for us for a number of years. And yeah, yeah. Um, in your flagship the, location in Denham, and then right there, downtown Railroad Avenue. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Um, how long? When did we open in Watson? Patrick was. When Patrick was born, so 20 years. 20 yeah. years. 20 years ago. Yeah. And we had bought an uh, old diesel service building that is where Zaxby is. Zaxby's is sitting right now. Yes. And I sold mm-hmm. it to Walmart, about two and a half acres. Yeah. And a year later, Walmart comes and goes, you want to sell that? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Good call, Scooter. <laughs> Good call. But uh, So we, we moved out with the rushings over at uh, Oak Point Shopping Center, and they're yeah. just very, very well, good to us. Fantastic. We for, yeah. But, uh, mm-hmm. yeah, well, Watson has, has been a, a good location. Now, since COVID, it has gone down more than any location we have. Yeah. And I, I think it's just because of the fact that they have twenty three to 26,000 people, and most of them are working from home now. Yeah, and we're going to get into that yeah. because yeah. that's, uh, that's, that's something deal. I hadn't considered. Uh, right. Uh, but certainly COVID has, has played a part. And so I'm le- I'm actually going to lead you into that now. And okay. we talked about some of the challenges, you know, uh, or we, we sent you something and, and wanted to know what some of the challenges were that you've went through. And, mm-hmm. and, uh, one of the things you listed was the 2008, the world changed and so did our business. So mm-hmm. tell me about that. Well, you know, it's 2008, if y'all remember, immediately the gas prices went up. Mm-hmm. So dry cleaning is a petroleum product. Yes. So you make plastic bags with that, yes. plastic hangers, yes. solvent, dry spotters. Clean. We use petroleum dry cleaning solvent. Mm-hmm. Solvent especially yes. is a huge yeah, drawback. A lot of, of, a lot of places over time use perchloroethylene, and we have never used perchloroethylene. We mm-hmm. could have saved, probably made, we'd have been multimillionaires by using perk. Yeah. 
but we just didn't think it was safe enough for us to, we weren't doing it. Fantastic. Uh, much more expensive to use petroleum. Uh, you go through a, a lot more of it. Yeah. You know, a lot of people in Perk that use Perk would use a 55 gallon drum a year. Yeah. We were using like 6,000 gallons of petroleum solvent a year. Mm -hmm. Wow. And just to make people understand, a lot of people don't understand what dry cleaning is. Yes. Um, it's not actually dry cleaning. The dry part is no water. Right. So you, you put your clothes in this solvent instead yeah. of water. But it's just like a washing machine. You put it in there. It's submerged. It, it fills you, up with solvent know. and washes it, changes mm -hmm. directions, and it, you can speed it up or slow it down depending on how delicate the fabrics are that you're putting in it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, and you know, and you're right. Up. I mean, the perception mm -hmm. from people is you hang it up, and it's almost yeah. like a and steam clean. Yeah, no, it mm -hmm. gets it gets it's totally immersed. Uh, you know, and now I do hand clean things with steam. Yes. that you know have feather boas sewed all through them, and different. <laughs> I mean, we have all kinds of things over the time. Hulk Hogan boas on yeah, you know, uh, uh, yep. real fur collars. Yeah. on, a, on a, a a dress or a jacket, and so you're like, well, I'm gonna clean it by hand. Yeah. Instead of putting it in a machine where it could be damaged, sure, you know, and uh, but that was a the the start of the changing of the world for us. Yeah, and and here's something interesting with that, and you know, in the paint business, it's very similar. We have a lot of petroleum based products, mm -hmm. and this is where price control kind of becomes an issue because sometimes you'll have to have an increase, for example, in your price and have no control over that. Nope. Yeah, you know, the price of gas rises and, and drops almost daily sometimes. And, mm -hmm. and uh, it's not only that, but it's also the availability of the raw material that you can get. Mm -hmm. The less available it is, the mm -hmm. higher it's going to cost. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, what's that going to do to prices? Well, mm -hmm. it'll make them rise. But it's not because Scooter or, or Jim or anybody else is making more money. Right. It's, right. It, it's the market. Yeah. The market mm -hmm. is and, rising. And, and we can't. Well, that's, that's what happened with us in 2008 because yeah. the price of solvent had gone up. The price of everything we used went up. Yeah. So we had to raise our prices and then at the same time, every gas was four dollars a gallon. Yeah, so, gas was four dollars a gallon. That. You remember, groceries yeah. went up, and every everything that you know. So of course, dry cleaning is a luxury business. Yeah, you know, for the most part. I mean, it, it, no doubt. Mm -hmm. you, we never raise prices at Quick and Handy, so I make more money. Ever. Right. We've never given ourselves a raise because we raised the prices. It's always either co cover employees' compensation or. The, the margins the, of the margin. Insurance. Right. You know, right. mm -hmm. And we've never done that. See, that's where we get in trouble. Because yeah. I say, baby, you got to go up every year if it goes up. You can't, you know, and mm -hmm. she's like, oh, but the people, they you count know, on us, you know. And I'm like, we won't be here for them if you don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you definitely, you know, there's a there's a cost and there's a margin. And, and so, you know, there's a, there's a line there. And you can't really go below that line. If you go below that line, you could end up out of business. And, exactly. Mm -hmm. And so uh, that's the hardest thing to get people to understand is if, if you do not, you know, if you do have a cost increase in any field, uh, it doesn't necessarily mean anybody's making any more money. Right. It's just to keep yeah. up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Keep, yeah. The, keep the status straight. That's know? right. Mm -hmm. uh, but, yeah, that, that in 08 was That a was big the first deal. part. And yeah. then from then on, we started having natural disasters one <laughs> after the other. Mm -hmm. Well, there's one that we can remember in particular, uh, and yeah. that was the, the 2016 flood. That's correct. Mm -hmm. So um, your business, did it, if, I know of one that flooded for sure. We didn't did flood. The, we, the south, our yeah, south, south range storm got yeah. yeah. three feet in it. Yeah. And when we drove up, Joe Mack calls me. He goes, I've been hounding them. I said, i got to get down there. We didn't even think about that storm. Yeah. We were worried about. Dental Springs and the people. Right. Wasn't worried about quick and, and handy. And if you yeah. remember, that was 2016. That was the first year he was a councilman. Yes. Yeah. So yes. I'm getting calls. We're going to set so up <laughs> shelters. Was, and You know, it's really yeah. funny Nightmare. because you, you think about it as a, you know, first year as your, your, your own little nucleus, you know, your little family. <laughs> you take care of that. Then when that's yeah. taken care of, which at, at that time our kids were grown, you know, Patrick was still at home, but the rest of the other two were married. And then, you know, then you okay with our business and you take care of that. But yes. then once he became councilman, it was like, okay, well, this is our area. Like yes. we have to protect, you know, yes. the, everybody, you know, so that was putting another aspect into the 2016 yeah. flood so, completely. So we finally get a call from Joe Mack. Joe goes, you can get down there. You're going to have to go through water. We're going to let you go. Yeah. So we go down there and I pull up 
and I, the, no electricity, you know, the lights are all out. Mm. And I open the door, and the first thing I see is a wedding dress hanging there, and it looked like it had been in chocolate milk from <laughs> three feet to the floor. Oh. Like, oh, my God, it did flood. Because yeah. they had said it flooded, but we didn't know how much. Oh, it was bad. The counters yeah. were all upside down. The buggies of clothes were upside down. So we start just hauling stuff to the truck. But, you yeah. know, that all of the other clothes in that store, we had higher, higher racks. racks. So if they weren't long pieces... They didn't get water on. Really? So but we, we well, cleaned, we re-cleaned, but I re-cleaned every, every, single every single piece anyhow because they'd sat in there for two or three days, yeah. you know, with you know, water. With water. Sure. Yeah. And I said, we're not taking any risk of mold or anything growing mm-hmm. later. We That's the first stuff we did. We brought it to the cleaners. And it's a good thing we went that day and started working because yeah. we didn't flood in downtown Denham. Didn't. Even though the river crested eight feet over the 83 flood, and my building is one foot above the 83 flood. Yeah. How's that possible? Have no idea. <laughs> Thank you, Lord the Jesus. Good Lord. Because you were the only reason that Quick and Handy, he knew we had to be open. Yeah. And we did about 50,000 pieces of people's clothes in the next five to six weeks. Yes. That they were backing big trucks up, every piece they owned, soaking wet, and dumping them out in the front. So I went up there, Kay goes, this person's bringing their clothes and they're all wet. I listened to the story, and we all bawling in the front of the shop. <laughs> yeah. And I told her, I said, don't call me to the front again. Yeah. I said, I can't do that. I'm going to go save these clothes. Yeah. And I did. Now, we <laughs> saved. Wow. We might have lost 10 pieces of clothes out of 50,000. Oh, That's oh my gosh. The 16 hour and... days and just seven days a week, we was rolling. I, I would get so tired, I'd lay out in the middle of the floor because it was, it was August. It was hot. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, uh, my kids were there. They were helping us. Everybody in the world was coming to help quick and handy get these clothes saved, you know? Yeah. But that was just our story. Like, the, our, we didn't go through anything no, compared to what everybody we didn't else flood. did. So, yeah. my house and my business. But that's okay because y'all were there for the people that did. And- Jim, we're swamped with these podcasts, and I'm in the mood for some local barbecue for lunch. Barbecue? Casey, the problem with barbecue is the speed. That would take forever. Not at Buddy's Barbecue. With the drive through line, they can get us fed fast. And that sauce, mmm, yum. It is right in the heart of Denham Springs. Do they have specials? Yes, they have plate lunch specials every day, Jim. And I bet you didn't know they offer some of the best catfish plates you've ever tasted on Fridays. And on Saturdays, they have smoked ribeyes. They are as flavorful as you can find anywhere. Okay, I'm hungry. What's the number? I'll call it in. No, just go online and place your order. By the time you're finished, I can head that way. That is convenient and really smart. Yep, just like me. A local business, and you know what I always say. Oh, yes. Jim Chapman loves local. Correct. And that makes me smart. Oh, please. If you're in the mood for barbecue, go see Buddy's Barbecue at 105 Florida Avenue Southeast, right in the heart of Denham Springs. They're a proud sponsor of Local Leaders, the podcast. And that was, you know, it's amazing. uh, You know, that, of course, for all of us, that was an unbelievable. Oh, my God. mm -hmm. You know, it was like something out of biblical times, Mm -hmm. what was going on here. It was the second one of that year. I mean, it flooded in March. We didn't get it that bad here. Right. But Lower Livingston Parish had already had the brunt of the March flood. Indeed. Mm -hmm. Uh, Yeah. I rode down in Shane Max District, and I'm down there, and I'm going, oh, my God, Shane, there's water running out of these people's homes and businesses. He goes, I know I can't even get there from where I'm at. You know, and you couldn't do anything at that time. You got to wait till the water goes down, and then you go and help who you can help. That's Uh, right. And I'll tell you this: when you know my my house flooded, and we had six feet almost in there, and and uh, you know you're trying to make sense all this, and I almost felt. I felt like I wanted to help everybody, and I couldn't because my house was. You know, I had three kids, a wife. Mm -hmm. Literally, nobody saw this coming. So we're on. Highway 16 with a thousand other people and all the neighborhoods are flooded around us. Um, And I'm thinking, you know, I want to help people, but I can't. Can't. I've got to, I've got, I don't even have a place to live right now. You know, I got to get a trailer over here. And, and, um, and so if it weren't for the people that didn't flood, I don't know what I would have done because those people helped me gut. Those people helped me sort through what was ruined, what wasn't. Very Mm -hmm. few people. 
available to do that. Yes. I mean, yeah. because. Exactly. You know? Mm-hmm. And, exactly. And we can't, we'd get to the end of a 16-hour day, and I'm like, baby, I, I need to go and help Jim uh, or, 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 yeah. or whoever mm-hmm. rip out some stuff. And she goes, baby, you, you know, the, it's 930 at night. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, they didn't have any electric in these places. It was all still out. And, yeah. And, uh but yeah, we heard all those stories, and everybody would come oh in, God. and everybody, you know, and everybody, we, every customer you cried with. Yeah. And, you can know. you save this? Yes, I can. <laughs> yeah, and you'd be amazed at the amount of people didn't think you could. They, they threw just it all out. they threw it. Uh, I'm talking yeah. every stitch of clothes, my wife yeah. included, who who you know was beside herself, and she's just throwing everything away. And I'm yeah. like, wait a minute, I, I can clean that. And <laughs> and she asked me about my clothes, and I said, no, I was, I was putting them in a bag. I'm like, maybe somebody can save these, yeah. and, and I was able to save some of those, fortunately. Yeah, but you um, can, and it just takes. It was so overwhelming, the number, though, that was coming. At one point, we had 50 or 60 bedspreads piled up outside the building. Yeah. <laughs> Just yeah. couldn't even get them in the shop. Yeah, that's amazing. Because I had yeah. to wet clean every piece. Yes. It wasn't dry clean, even though they were wool suits. Yeah. And Leighton Ricks. Leighton Ricks calls me. He goes, all of my suits are wet. And I said, well, bring them, Leighton. We'll get them. Yeah. And they were wool. Like, what do you call it? You bought me that black coat, and I don't like it because I feel like a big Russian in it. (laughs) No hair or something. No hair. But we were able to save all of that stuff. But I wet cleaned it all, and then I would have to hang it up and let it air dry because you couldn't tumble it dry because it would ruin. It would shrink. It would shrink. Right. Mm -hmm. So I'd have to air dry it all. And then if it was real bad and I needed to dry clean it, I'd dry clean it, and then they'd press it. My pressers would leave every day, and it looked like we didn't even put a dent (laughs) in anything. Yeah. But you know know what? It's... It, it yeah. was it was a blessing that we were there for, like I said, the people that have done everything for us. It really is, mm-hmm. it, and you were a blessing to a lot of people. And and, uh, uh, and you know, I I even ran into people who almost felt guilty because they didn't flood. Right? Yes. Oh, we, and, we, we were that way. We were those people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. Yeah, and if it wasn't for people, you know, had you flooded, we all would have not had any clothes. Yeah. <laughs> well, you, well, did not. you know, if people, yeah. people would tell me that you don't understand because you didn't flood. And I go, whoa, wait a minute. I grew up in Holden. Yeah. In 83, the Tickfall River was in my house 18 inches deep. Yeah. And was in quick and handy cleaners on, on Centerville Street, 18 inches deep, the Ameet River, at the same three days. Yeah. And you know what had to come first? Cleaning out quick and handy so that we could do the clothes for the people of Jim Springs and Livingston Parish. There you mm-hmm. go. Well, thank then goodness. got the house. <laughs> thank goodness you were there. Five yeah. times that we flooded yeah. at that house. Yeah. But so I you know understand. about flooding. Yeah, I know yeah. about flooding. I know how devastating <laughs> and how heartbreaking did. it is. And you open a cabinet and all of your pictures of your kids and your grandparents oh, and yeah. all are just in a ball. Yeah. yeah. And you think, well, that's just a picture. No, but that's mm-hmm. the memory. Mm-hmm. You know, it's interesting when the, the – I went uh, in the middle of the day gum thing. It was still raining, and and you know it's it's I don't know four feet on the street at that point. And I said I'm swimming down there, and I'm seeing if I can save anything. And I swam and swam. My family and everybody else's were on that road, and I got to the house, couldn't get the door open. I'm like, man, what is going on? I'm pushing, pushing. The refrigerator uh-huh. had floated, floated in front of the door, so yeah. I finally knocked it open. I go in there, and of course, every you know it's. It, it was a. Much, it was just like, just oh nothing. my goodness, yeah. yeah. Um, you know, it was like Titanic mm-hmm. furniture floating everywhere, uh-huh. and, and there was a picture um, of my son. It was like a eleven by sixteen, uh, beautiful picture from when he was a baby, and it was just high enough, y'all, where <laughs> the water hadn't got to it yet. And I said, uh, "That's what's. That's what God's got me here for right uh-huh. now." And I went swinging, grabbed that picture, and I put it up. High, high enough that I thought it was going to be okay. And, uh, and you know, I swam back down the road, and the whole way I'm thinking, how am I going to tell my wife everything's gone? You yeah, because you can't go, yeah, everything's okay. It's yeah, fine. Yeah, that's and why. Then to, and then yeah. have to deal with that later. As soon as I got to that road, you know, I gathered up my family, and I, and I said, we ain't it's got a gone. thing left, but I saved that picture. And, you know, my thought was my computer, my this, my that. Mm-hmm. All my wife cared about were those pictures. pictures. That was Sorry. it. Mm-hmm. And everything else, and and uh, and it was a tough time. Mm-hmm. Um, we saved what we could, but it, uh, like I said, thank God for people like y'all that mm-hmm. that well, were like, there for like us. Like all the businesses that were able to f- open. So my daughter comes into town and she goes, "Daddy, 
I can get there, but what are we going to eat? And yeah. I'm like, oh, what are we going to eat? She stopped by the Red Cross thing at, in front of Home Depot and picked us up dinners. My wife yelled at her, said, those are for the people that were unfortunate and flooded. Yeah. And and I said, but baby, it, we we didn't flood here, but we have to eat. And yeah. there's nowhere to eat. We're working for yeah. my number one thing is to save a piece of clothes. I don't care who, yeah. whether it's that worst shirt you've ever seen. Yeah. You know? And so she's like, well, I guess you're right. You know? It's a, yes. And, you know, it's amazing. The Red Cross gets, uh, they got some, yeah, just blasted. And I'll tell you what, I my family ate for several days mm-hmm. only because the Red Cross existed and they were going down my road handing out this meals. This bottle of water and a hot dog without a bun? Is better than a hot dog with no hot dog. <laughs> That's right. I, it's we were, exactly we right. We were gutting my sister's house in Walker. She flooded. And some friends of ours, and we all got over there, and we we tearing into it and all, and nothing to eat. Yeah. Okay, because every store. And we see the Red Cross truck coming down the road. <laughs> I said, y'all run out there quick. Y'all got to get us something to eat. And the lady goes, well, how many do you need? And it was like 12 of us. They said, well, take 20 because they, it's kind of sparse. Yeah. It didn't matter to me what was in that box. Yeah. Well, I don't particularly like beans, or I don't particularly want, but that's the wrong kind of potato chips. Yeah. No, these people are out making sure somebody doesn't die from not eating. That's right. Mm-hmm. And it was the best food was I ever right. ate. Oh, that's right. <laughs> it, it was like a gourmet it. meal, you know? Yes, <laughs> and, uh, absolutely. So we, you know, Scooter, but we get, the, as a community, uh, you know, one thing I'll tell you about Livingston Paris right now is there ain't much we can't go through. That's and true. I don't know That's many true. communities that would have made it through that flood. Um, and we did. We, we did. came out we, of it. And, we all made it. Uh, yes. We're stronger for it. Yes. The parish is much better prepared in the future. Yes. Mm-hmm. We've been working on major, major Drainage enhancements, they, yes. they take too long to get here when you're dealing with federal government money. Red tape. Red yeah. tape. But uh, when they come, they're going to help dramatically improve the lives of us in the future. Because I still get calls. I'll get calls from people that didn't flood. Yeah. And they'll go, well, if y'all don't clean that ditch out, it might get in my house this time. Yeah. And I said, the river didn't flood you you know it didn't reach that far over to my district on, right. on the east side, and they go oh but my wife sits there every time it's raining and she's going you think it's going to get us this time? Yeah. Everybody has this it's like PTSD. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. I mean the mayor, mayor Landry said what does he call it post flood traumatic stress yeah. disorders <laughs> yeah. and it's still here. Mm-hmm. I mean I'm yeah. talking about every time it rains hard I get calls all day yeah so you know it was it was that type of experience but we did we did make it through and then uh everything's kind of rolling along mm-hmm. hope and pray that we don't get another yes uh, this this last week though with the 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 ice event yeah i was watching the the river stage you know, <laughs> it came up in a hurry yeah it did and we didn't get much rain no mm. No, no. It was a lot of you know. It traveled down the it travels down the co meet too, and that and that you know goes into the a meet, and then you can have problems that way. Yeah, and, uh, and it just, um, just depends on where it falls. That's right. Oh, uh, that, that's exactly right. But we did make it through, and then we get uh, we get to twenty twenty. We're coasting along, and wow, who would have saw COVID hit? Now I want to make an interesting point here that that uh, you know with regard to COVID. So. There was a lot of industries that were hit a little bit harder than others. Everybody got hit, but mm-hmm. uh, you know your restaurants, your bars, your uh, your hairdressers, uh, especially. But your industry got hit probably as hard or harder than almost everybody, and that is the dry cleaning industry. Um, and it's not just. In the U.S., not in Dental Springs, not in Louisiana. It's worldwide. worldwide. I'm in four or five different Facebook groups worldwide, yeah. and a lot of places are down 80, 90, 95% because they're completely locked down still. Yes. Okay? Yes. Even though the numbers have declined 77% in the past six weeks in the U.S., yeah. they still have places where they don't let you go anywhere. Well, and here's mm-hmm. the interesting thing, Scooter, and that is – when you when you think about life before COVID, you had business guys, they were getting dressed, they were going to work. 
Yes, uh, they needed their slacks looking, you know, pressed and all these sorts of things. Uh, their shirts nice and pressed and, and life was rocking. But what happened was COVID hit. Everybody started working from home. When you work from home, you wear T-shirts and shorts and you're, yeah. you're good to go and you're loving life. But your dry cleaner's like, oh, oh. my gosh, where did you go? <laughs> well, I think Kay did yes. a figure. She figured the other day, second quarter of 2020, we were down 67%. Yeah, that's, mm-hmm. that's huge. Okay, so some of those weeks, that means we looked at each other for eight or nine hours a day and didn't do anything. We yes. just stood there going, yeah. baby, there's nobody coming. Jeff Taylor, my friend yeah. Jeff, would come yeah. and sit in the drive through and we'd be talking about COVID or different things. He'd sit there 45 minutes to an hour sometimes. Without didn't have to move. Coming in. Yeah. You know? yeah. And I'm like, Jeff, the, the, he goes, oh, my goodness. I got to do something to help the people. I, I, I got to do, do something to help people with their assessments. I gotta, so what do you what do you, you think know? about this? What do you think about this? And I'm like, I said, as long as it's fair on everybody and you're legally able to help us. Yeah. He goes, well, it's kind of on the fringe. <laughs> Look, you the assessor, you do what you think is right. Yeah. And yeah. it always comes out right. After the flood, he did the same thing, and yeah. it, it helped people a lot. Yeah, yeah absolutely. And but you're right. The COVID deal, I mean, we were deemed non-essential. Yeah. Okay? That's crazy. And we ended up being essential. Yeah. Okay? But, uh, you know, some of these places in our country. My brother-in-law died suddenly, and now my sister and her kids have to sell their home. That's why I told my husband we could not put off getting life insurance any longer. An agent offered us a 10-year, $500,000 policy for nearly $50 a month. Then we called SelectQuote. SelectQuote found us identical coverage for only $19 a month, a savings of $369 a year. Whether you need a $500,000 policy or a $5 million policy, Select Quote could save you more than 50% on term life insurance. For your free quote, go to SelectQuote.com. SelectQuote.com. That's SelectQuote.com. Select Quote. We shop, you save. Full details on example policies at selectquote.com slash commercials. Hey guys, it is Ryan. I'm not sure if you know this about me, but I'm a bit of a fun fanatic when I can. I like to work, but I like fun too. It's a thing. And now the truth is out there. I can tell you about my favorite place to have fun. Chumba Casino. They have hundreds of social casino style games to choose from with new games released each week. You can play for free anytime, anywhere and each day brings a new chance to collect daily bonuses. So join me in the fun. Sign up now at ChumbaCasino.com. No purchase necessary. VTW. Void. We're prohibited by law. See terms and conditions. 18 plus. They deemed their dry cleaners essential. Uh, they, they're working. I was reading this yesterday. These dry cleaners are wanting to be deemed non-essential, taken off the essential list. Because they're getting where they can't get any help. Yes. Because they were able yes. to stay open. Very good Even though point. we stayed open. All of a sudden, you can't get PPP money. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And so they're like, whoa, wait a minute. We, we're petitioning. Please write your governors, your your senators, your, your House of Representatives that remove dry cleaning industry from the essential list so yes. that we can get the help we need to stay open. Yeah, because it doesn't do you any good to be essential if nobody's coming in there, right? Yeah, it, that's it, right. And, uh, you know, the uh, the paint business was essential, and it rocked and rolled. Because people COVID. were home. Because mm-hmm. people were home. Like, they have nothing to do, and let's look around and see what we can paint. How it still hasn't recovered. How can you be than painting in your own house? That's you right. Know? That's right. right. And and so, uh, you know, obviously there's no need for, for any assistance when your sales are shooting up. Right. Mm-hmm. Uh, but if you're essential and nobody's coming in there and then you can't get assistance, yeah, that's mm-hmm. – that's, That's right. not good. Yeah, so, not good. Uh, very, very uh, happy to obviously frequent quick and handy oh, cleaners I'm glad and you come in do too. the little bit that I can, you no, know, no, to, it's, to like, help. You. Every uh, customer is my best customer. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. But there's one hey, that's shirt a great or policy. bag that you can't even pick up. <laughs> You're my best customer. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And- BJ Pawn and Gun in Denham Springs wants to buy your unwanted gold jewelry, gold coins, and gold bullion. With 30 years of experience operating in the Livingston Parish area, BJ Pawn wants to be your source when selling your gold. So stop by BJ Pawn today. 
for a no obligation offer. BJ Pawn, a proud sponsor of Local Leaders, the podcast. I'll tell you, you uh, another thing we asked you that that really uh, struck me was we asked, what advice do you have to give another business owner? And you basically said you have to be flexible. As business leaders, you solve problems every day, all day. And if uh, if you remain stagnant, you will die. You will. Very true. You always got to grow. If you don't try and grow, not just in business, in your whole life. Yes. You, you got, so yeah. True. We would have never done this if, Five years ago, I've been like, no, nah, Jim, that's crazy. I'm not yeah. doing a podcast. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what is a podcast? Yeah, what yeah. is that? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> but but, but you know, you rush well, one ball? <laughs> yeah. Oh, boy. Um, but, yeah, you know, um, I, I'm trying to think what, what kid it was. I had, had stayed home with one of the babies. I was on maternity leave. Patrick, and his, no, Reese. And his mother says, um, we can't take credit cards. Yeah. We can't. You know, and customers were coming in, and they would get aggravated because we wouldn't have wouldn't take a debit card or a credit yeah. card, and they were having to go to the bank, go to the ATM, get cash, come back. She goes, they and she don't says, need that. she says people yeah. don't need to put dry cleaning on a credit card. I said, well, you know, Miss Winnie, now people use debit cards. Yeah. They're not. It's not just credit cards. It's their debit cards. I said we have right. to take credit cards. So finally, she you know went down and did it. But think about if we would not have changed and said, "Oh, okay, well, we're not going to do that." If she hadn't yes. been there, I'd have been like, "You're right. We want cash. It's tough." Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's right. Yeah, and you know, it's interesting. You have to innovate, right? That's right. You, you have, have to, to be. You have to constantly uh, find ways of of uh, getting your message out there, no matter what it is. Find ways of staying in the public's. Uh, you know, perspective and, and keeping them there and letting them know you're still, well, you know, I'm glad functioning. you said that because the biggest thing, I think the biggest min- misconception is that dry cleaners only dry clean. Yeah. That is the least thing we do. Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, these, these shirts like we have on, yeah, they look much better when we do them. We'll wet clean these. Yes. Dry them on low yes. then they steam press them, press them up real nice. Check them for buttons. Spot, Any, oh, look! If you got if you're doing your clothes at home and you get a grease spot on your shirt and you go, I can't wear that. It's got a grease spot. Yeah. Five minutes, it's gone at my shop. Yeah. I can dry clean it. It's gone. Yeah. Anything greasy is it's coming right out. There you go. I've had people call and go, friends of ours. I got a blue shirt and I got some. I was cooking fish and it splattered mm-hmm. all over. We can't get it out. I said, bring it to me. Bro. I get it. Gone. It's perfect again. You didn't have to throw it away. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But the big, and people need to know that. Oh, they need that's, to know that. That's huge. We don't just do dry cleaning. We don't do just do wedding dresses or prom dresses. We do anything that you have. Yeah. Bedspreads, comforters, sheets. Cushion wash and, cushion and fold. Cover, wash and cushion fold. fold. Yeah. I tell you what, mm-hmm. casual wear, most people think, well, I don't need to take that to the dry cleaners. You do if you want it to be to last longer and look nice during the life of that garment. Bring it to me because we put specialized chemicals in. We don't just throw some Tide in there in a washing machine. Right. I mean, we put many different uh, uh, softeners and different surfactants to remove yeah. the stains and perspiration and things safely without removing all the color. Yeah, you're not spraying you know? shout all no. over. <laughs> no, no. no. Uh, you won't find any of that in the back quick and handy. We do household items and wash and fold. And, yeah, you know, you know a interesting little. She was going to advertise during COVID that we'll do your uh, pajamas that you're working in every day. Bring them in hey. and we'll, we'll clean them and That's press them and idea. put them on a hanger and then you'll look nice at least in your pajamas. That's you know? right. That's and, right because you got to go on Zoom with your right. with your business. And, the the and funniest thing, Jim, me. I've got some customers that, that can, our customers ever since COVID hit would come in very rarely and they go, man, I'm sorry I hadn't been bringing as much, but I'm working from home. And I said, we understand. I, I get it. You'll Hopefully one day you'll go back to normal. Our world will get back to normal and you'll start wearing your dress clothes to work. And they go, well, yeah, because right now I'm just wearing a dress shirt and a pair of boxers sitting in front <laughs> yeah. of that little. <laughs> and I'm like, uh, you didn't really need to let us know that. Yeah, much. that might be too much information. But now I picture that every time they walk in. You know? <laughs> I love it. Well, you know, a little known fact, when I was, uh, what, one of my first real jobs was with Dillard's. And what mm-hmm. I would do is, is uh, w- the majority of what I did was sit there and I would be in my department and I would fold 
clothes with the little all board. the time. Yes, <laughs> but I didn't have a board. I, I had to learn it without the board. So it's funny because even today. Uh, in my dresser drawers, all of my stuff is folded. The Neatly. exact yes, it's. It, it, <laughs> my wife's like, this is the best thing about I you. That's, I think that's called <laughs> ADD or something. <laughs> oh, and so look, it's the most relaxing thing. It's so crazy because I'll sit there and, and I'll take a big load of clothes, and I love folding clothes. And my uh-huh. wife's like, this is just great. Yeah, Jim, I, Jim, when we get through, twenty years, I've been doing I that. Two loads there in the dryer at the house. You're welcome to sit on the couch tonight. We'll watch a ball game. I'm you telling you, but I'm gonna we, get a lot of messages. We, about that. At the house, though, are drawer socks and and un, and uh, sheets towels. and towels. Yeah. Everything else we wear goes to, with us <laughs> yeah. to the cleaners. You know, yeah, so, absolutely. But we do that with our wash and fold. You know, we do have one of those folding yeah. uh, things. So I, I do the the t shirts. Oh, she and makes fold them neat all man, and, and when they they like, oh my. This is like at the store. <laughs> and like when you're sitting on the couch and you're not even looking. Yeah. You just, you know. Yeah, yeah, just you're rolling right. socks up. and Yeah, yeah. that's right. So uh, you do have that. So you do wash and fold. We talked about that. Uh, mm-hmm. And you clean formal wear, obviously, Absolutely. all those sorts of things. Casual clothes, you clean those. I did a dress today for a lady. I called her. It was a... It was a light blue dress, and it had the glued on glitter. Glitter. I probably got it all on me, <laughs> and it was some of the glitter was already coming off. And it said yeah. "spot clean only." If it doesn't have any designs or anything on it, you can dry clean it. Yes. So I called her and I said, "Ma'am, I said you cannot dry clean this dress. Every piece of glitter will come off." I said, "I'm yeah. a professionally wet clean it and and do it by hand. Yeah. Hang it up." When I got it out a while ago, it looked beautiful. Man, I, yeah. I was like, yeah, right again. Perfect. You know? <laughs> but I usually am. And I, I'm all full of myself. I don't know if you know. <laughs> That's all right. When I it too. comes to cleaning clothes, you know, you're that way with paint. I'm that yeah. way with dry clean. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It'll be funny. Somebody on this Facebook group for dry cleaners will be going, well, what do you use? Should I go get some OxyClean or something? This is cleaners. Yeah. And this I, is real cleaning. And I'm like... <laughs> Uh, no. Yeah. And, and I go, you should never, ever do this. And then the people from our DLI, the Dry Clean and Laundry Institute, yeah. they got a lady on there that's also on those Facebook groups. And she'll go, what Scooter said. Yeah. <laughs> and I'll show my wife and I go, see, I told you I know everything about dry cleaning. That's perfect. That's perfect. Now, uh, <laughs> we talked about your cleaners. And I do want to talk a little bit about the Livingston Parish Council as well. Because you are the... <laughs> You are a member. Now, here's something interesting about the council. Everybody has a nickname, right? So you got to have a nickname. You got a frog. You got a scooter. You got a G boy. A bubba. Uh, a bubba. So, um, d- first of all, I want to know where the name Scooter came from. You want to tell it? All right. So, <clears throat> they, of course, I was born. They brought me home from the hospital. They yep. put me in my little baby bed. Yep. I was two weeks old. Yeah. And I was scooting from one end to the other. And my grandmother walked in and said, Oh, look at the little scooter. <laughs> <laughs> And so from two weeks old. Now, why I was scooting old. around at two weeks old, I shouldn't have been doing nothing but laying there going, I can barely breathe here, you know? Yeah. But that's what, it's always Knowing his stuck. personality you see. Why? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm only Maurice when I put a suit on, so I don't get, I don't get called that very often. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, but, uh, that's right. That's right. But a great, great nickname. I mean, Scooter's hard to beat. That's a, that's a good one. Oh. Uh, it's better than Frog, even. <laughs> I don't know. You know <laughs> He's. You can picture Gary as a frog. Yeah. <laughs> Not he, say. He, Not. Don't we, say it. Don't get. Don't go so, there. Jill. We've got yeah. our pictures on the wall of the council chambers in the first four years. Yeah. It was just a picture of a frog up there because he didn't like the way his picture came. Out. That's hilarious. But you can picture Scooter as a scooter. You know, yeah. it's not yeah. human or an animal. Well, you know? it's, it's a great name. It, <laughs> From humble beginnings in 1989, Big Mike's has long been a place for friends and family to gather for lunch, dinner, and drinks. Big Mike, Jocelyn, and their friendly staff invite you to come in and relax in one of their spacious dining areas or watch a game on one of the big screen TVs. Big Mike's is a place to meet old friends or make new ones. Big Mike's offers daily and nightly specials, and they specialize in serving up delicious and fresh menu items. Big Mike's offers a catering menu for large groups and has private party rooms for up to 100 guests. Whether you're planning a quick lunch or a large family dinner or just a night out with friends, Big Mike welcomes you to experience a great time. 
And don't forget to grab some t-shirts, caps, or koozies in the gift shop. Oh, or a bottle of Big Mike's Honey Dijon. It's delicious. Big Mike's Sports Bar and Grill. We're kind of a big deal. Anyway, <laughs> so uh, one of the things that um, y'all are doing that's exciting me and Miss Kay, we were talking about this the other day, was some litter uh, some litter cleanup that oh, you're doing. Yeah. Over, tell uh, me a little bit about that. It's the annual uh, litter cleanup in Watson, yeah. and it's arranged by Miss Bobby Jo Cox Gayran, and mm-hmm. she's, I don't know if you know Miss Bobby Jo, but she's... About a female version of me. She talks a whole <laughs> lot and fast, and yeah. but she's a go getter. Yeah. And she's a runner, and you know, and, and so those runners, you know, they yeah, oh and yeah. And she's my neighbor. Okay, so she's been my neighbor ever since we moved out there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and uh, she she said, you know, we had to skip last year because of COVID. Sure, we can't skip this year. It's gotten out of hand, yeah. and she, I talked to her last night, and what she has lined up is amazing. The the Live Oak football team, the Denim football team, all of the s- different school groups of volleyball, basketball, yeah. all of these groups from Denim and Live Oak. Great. Other municipal groups, you know, I'm, it's a list. That you, you'll know about it next weekend. Yeah. You know, because that, that needs to be put out. Who, who is going to do this? We're going to clean all the way from Lockhart Road all the way up to 1019. Fantastic. Every single road. Yeah. They will be a roll-off dumpster at – uh, North Park in my district, so I'm going to be there at 8 o'clock Saturday, March 6th. And the the teams that are going to be cleaning the southern part of that area, like the Lockhart Road north of it, is going to meet up and bring back all the garbage to the roll-offs there. And then at uh, what used to be Down Home Grill location on 16 up in Watson, that's yeah. owned by Gary, and Gary donated – the, the use of that parking area, Fantastic. that's where the roll-off on that end is going to be. And he's going to be there that Saturday morning, and we're going to just pitch in and haul garbage and pick up and clean our parish up. Yeah. Um, yeah. I Very was asked important. yesterday by, uh, I think it was Jamie Seal, with Quality yeah. Engineering. He yeah. goes, no, Jamie. are we going to be cleaning up in Fort Vincent? I said, no, none of the other councilmen. We, we offered that, hey, March 6th, when we're doing it. Yeah. Parish. They said maybe the next time we'll have more time to arrange yeah, and our goal is that if we get this garbage up, get some litter initiatives in place, some signage. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Please don't litter, don't trash the LP yeah. up. This is too good nah. a place. We love it here. Yeah, uh, that maybe it'll stay that way. Yeah, uh, you know we. Well, the number one problem with drainage, in my opinion, is litter. Is garbage mm-hmm. on, on yeah. localized? Yeah, on flash floods. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It, I mean, I, I, well, you're paying DPW to go out there and clean out culverts before rain events. Uh, you know? Gravity, gravity drainage. Gravity drainage. And yeah. then immediately. I mean, that's our bam. tax dollars. Yes. I saw volleyball spent, in the you know? end of a pipe last thir- uh, the Thursday that rained so hard right before the, oh, yeah. the vol- uh, beach ball in the end of a pipe. Yeah. And I'm like, you know, people. <laughs> Before the, the That's event, block hit, it up. Yeah. please get out and pick up around your yard. Get the basketballs and, and beach balls and volleyballs and put them inside the garage or inside your house. Pick up any limbs that are right there. The the parish, <laughs> there's no way we can raise enough money to yeah. to clean every little thing out of every ditch. So, no. you know, go people got to take some go responsibility. Take, right. Bobby Joe and a friend of hers, I live on Clinton Island Road, so, and she lives next door to our, our property. And her and a friend of hers clears from Cane Market Road about 100 yards past my property. Yeah. And I was thinking, well, maybe we're going to pick up that next Saturday. We're going to get on the mule, and we're going to clean Clinton Allen. Yeah. And the last night I talked to her, I said, who cleaned it up? Oh, we cleaned it up. I said, all right, what else you want me to do? <laughs> <laughs> so she's going to have us picking up the actual bags of garbage with my truck and transporting mm-hmm. them to the roll-off. Yeah. But, yes, that's it's, it's important, and we need to do it uh, – Every year and do it parish wide, yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, we need to have a. That's a it's a huge thing. It's Mm -hmm. a it's a huge issue, and it's the thing is, it's something that that we as citizens can control, right? Mm -hmm. So well, but can we? We have to change the mindset. If you're driving home with a box of chicken and you got through eating it, yeah, I understand. We all got to eat going down the road nowadays. That's good for my business, yeah, (laughs) because I get to get the grease out. That's right, yeah. (laughs) But take it home and put it. Absolutely. If, if you don't have a garbage pickup at your house, 
Come put it in my dumpster. Go put yeah. it in somebody's garbage can. Don't throw it out in the middle of the road. Mm-hmm. This is where you live. Yes. Mm-hmm. You know, take pride in Teach what you... Teach your kids that. Yes. Yeah, I was amazed mm-hmm. how I much the flood cleaned our parish. Yeah. Yeah, it flushed it all down. It all went, it all went down to Randy's <laughs> district. Yeah. You know? yeah. But, but uh, <laughs> it's amazing. It, where I hunt, I hunt on the other side of the Amy River in East Baton Rouge. Yeah. Just on the north side of the bridge. Yeah. And the amount of garbage in the woods... What we got? Go ahead. Go ahead. The amount of garbage in the woods is astounding that's hung up in those woods. Yes. That floated down. Yeah. You know, and that'll never, you can't go clean the woods. Right. But if we never put it out on the road so it can make it to the river to get stuck in the woods in the first place, you wouldn't even have to see it. No, I agree. Gone. I agree 100%. With regard to fabric, we were talking about fabric earlier. What fabric do you just cringe at when it comes in? It's like, oh, this is going to be hard to clean. Is there any that's I, I really harder? Did. Or is it all uh, just silks and things yeah. like silks, that? Silks, acetates, yeah. rayons, you know. Kind of tough. Yeah, you know, and I've so seen don't it. try to clean it yourself. No, is don't what try to clean it yourself. Yeah. You can't get it back straight. You can wet clean it, and a lot of times it's fine at home if yeah. you washed it, but you're never going to get the wrinkles out of it. Yeah. Po- if, and if you overheat polyester, you know, if you take a polyester shirt like this and you dry it on hot and leave it sitting in the dryer, yeah. that's never coming out. Really? You can't, you can't get wow. enough stain to fix that. That's interesting. But, Good uh, tip. I've noticed this since COVID. You'll have this sporadic color gone places where the, the color is missing out of blouses and pants. Yes. It's hand sanitizer. If You know how you yes. put it on and you do like this and it goes, oh, yes. I got it on me. Well, if yeah. it's on cotton or something, you usually don't have an issue. Yeah. You get it on silk, psh, dye's gone because mm-hmm. it's alcohol. It's yeah. Just, psh, yeah. And uh, that's interesting. People will bring in something and they'll go, can, can you fix this? And I'm like, that's some of the things I can't fix. Once the color's out, the color's out. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. You can't bring the color back. Well, you can even dye it, yeah. and that one spot will still be different color than the rest of it. Yeah, mm-hmm. that makes sense. That but makes what sense. would you say is the hardest? I mean, that's probably silk taffeta for wedding dresses. Yeah. Those are challenges. <laughs> They're challenges. I said, baby, you're going to have to come finish this when I can't. Hand, uh, yeah. When you have to hand finish an entire wedding dress. And then it's a wedding dress, and it's like, so you know how important that is. That's right. You know, you're not doing a T-shirt. You, yeah. you know, it's like, wow, just the stress I'm most involved. I'm glad you mentioned that. One of the best things I ever got to do, it was on a Friday afternoon at the old plant. And a lady came in, and it was her and her daughter, and they're crying. The daughter's frantic. They went to get ready to go to wherever, and they lifted up the back of the SUV, and when they put the wedding dress in it, it got black grease all over it off of the, the, the hinge. Yeah. She's freaking out. Cleaners the wedding, been, wedders, the wedding the was the day. next day. Yeah. Okay. Oh, wow. So she's freaking out, and I said, ma'am, the, the cleaners had been off for hours. You know, yeah. and it takes a lot of time and effort to fire the boilers back up, get everything back going. And I said, baby, look. Don't worry about it. I said, yeah. I'm going to fix it. Yeah. It's going to be like it never happened. And later, like two or three hours later, Kay had the dress all pressed. And the lady comes in and, and the girl's like, oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why I like doing what it, you know, cleaning your shirt. Yeah. It's cleaning your shirt. Yeah. But when you can save somebody's day. Oh, that's huge. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I, you know, and, and people are like, just cleaning clothes. Yeah, yeah. Look, <laughs> man, right. you're changing lives on, over there, quick and one, on one, of best, <laughs> one of the best days of your life that you thought was ruined. Yeah, yeah. and, and that, that's why we do what we do. Yeah, you know. Yeah, that's uh, huge, and that's passion, and that's that's loving what you do. And that I was, was my mom. She said, yeah. "You're gonna take every piece and treat it like it's the the piece." You know. Yeah, mm-hmm. and you know I was talking to Miss Kay the other day and one of the words she used was she said, you know, this is our baby. That's the way we view this. And, Mm -hmm. and that, what that tells me is that's many, many, many years of hard work and, Mm -hmm. and, and taking care of it just like you do a child. Right. Mm -hmm. And I couldn't believe we've been in that new place 15 years and it Mm -hmm. seems like it was like yesterday. Yeah. You know, Young guy like you, Scooter, yeah. it's all, you know, it's all ba- yesterday. Baby yeah. needs a new, baby needs a new coat of paint. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I do yeah. not think that. <laughs> you know, uh, I also want to mention another service that you offer that I absolutely love is the 24-hour drop-off. Right. So mm-hmm. Scooter and Miss K don't even have to be there for you to bring your clothes. The, the other day you dropped some off. And when I got to the shop, uh, 
I forget if we were shorthanded or what. But, you know, we don't get much in the mornings anymore. So if all I got was gyms, yeah. I would have to clean all yours by themselves. Yeah. Run every machine. Yeah. So I sent a Facebook message. <laughs> yeah, he said, did. He's like, you don't need these today. Do you need these today? And he goes, no, man, just any time. And I'm like. Yeah. <laughs> and then I got three or four more that had to have them that day. So yeah. yours got done too. Perfect. Yeah. You know? Perfect. But, uh, but, it, it, but, you know, we were talking about being flexible. It's like you have to be flexible whenever, yeah. well, whenever the dry cleaning industry kind of is, you know, going down. So it was like, okay, what are we going to do? Yeah. You know, all right, what are we going to do? I mean, we're both in our 50s. Like, you can't yeah. start a new career. Well, you can start a new career. You can but become a politician. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You could do that. We see how that's going. <laughs> Pays really so, well, too. Yeah, yeah, really. <laughs> but, you know, so we started, you know, we, that's when we started doing wash and fold. We actually do a yeah. route now. And home so delivery we're picking and pick home up. delivery yeah. and pickup. So we have an app. You get on there, you know, quick and handy app. Really? I did not <laughs> know that. It's on app store, man. You yeah. Come on. Big time. Yeah. Doggone so it. You can, Quick and handy. You can schedule a pickup and delivery. And, you know, then we started doing some wholesale accounts. And, yeah. you know, uh, we had a, we talked to a man today. Today. That, we, that we're going to start doing some clothes for our cleaners in Port Allen. Fantastic. So, I asked him, I said, also, how bad is your business down? He said, 50%. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And he said, and I can't pay my employees. Oh, that's a bad problem. You know? So but he's the, mo- the most exciting thing is that we've never been able to have a cleaners in South Livingston Parish. Yeah. So with all this, yeah. we've now we're um, we're in conjunction with um, the laundromat down by the Diversion What's Canal. The name of yeah. it? Oh. Is it Bubbles and Suds? My brother in law died suddenly, and now my sister and her kids have to sell their home. That's why I told my husband we could not put off getting life insurance any longer. An agent offered us a 10-year, $500,000 policy for nearly $50 a month. Then we called SelectQuote. SelectQuote found us identical coverage for only $19 a month, a savings of $369 a year. Whether you need a $500,000 policy or a $5 million policy, Select Quote could save you more than 50% on term life insurance. For your free quote, go to SelectQuote.com. SelectQuote.com. That's SelectQuote.com. Select Quote. We shop, you save. Full details on example policies at SelectQuote.com slash commercials. With lucky landslots, you can get lucky just about anywhere. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to... Has anyone seen the bride and groom? Sorry, sorry, we're here. We were getting lucky in the limo and we lost track of time. <gasps> no, Lucky Land Casino, with cash prizes that add up quicker than a guest registry. In that case, I pronounce you lucky. Play for free at LuckyLandSlots.com. Daily bonuses are waiting. No purchase necessary. Void were prohibited by law. 18 plus. Terms and conditions apply. See website for details. Anyhow, it's in the Cerritos uh, oh yeah, strip right there. Yes. You know, right yes. before you get to diversion yep. on the left. Yep. Uh, we're go- we don't have a sign up yet. It still mm-hmm. says Lejeune's Cleaners. Well, Lejeune's and Gonzales went out of business, and Michael called us. Said somebody recommended y'all. Okay. And so we go down to diversion now twice a week and pick up clothes and bring them back. Yeah. And uh, mm-hmm. I take credit for recommending all that. Thank really you do. very much. <laughs> but, but that that is You're something welcome. that we've yeah. always wanted to service Lower mm-hmm. Livingston mm-hmm. Parish, and now we have a avenue a to do that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And uh, I was Fantastic. going down there. We have yeah. one customer at the end of the diversion canal. We need to get a bunch of customers on diversion yeah. canal because that <laughs> thing is six and a half miles long, and there at the end, <laughs> <laughs> and you can go twenty seven. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll tell you what, uh, you know, if you're on the Diversion Canal or anywhere around it, go see go Scooter see, Keen yeah, go, and go, Kate Keen yeah, at absolutely. Quick and Handy, and they will take care of we'll you. We'll take care of them, and we'll put yeah. buttons on them, too. Yeah. Right. And you're always <laughs> looking for buttons, are you not? Oh, yeah, we have to. Look, I look at every yeah. piece. I I actually no, I'm talking about oh, looking mean, yeah, people oh, yeah. to bring them to. Oh yeah, bring them to. Us. Give you, them to you. Yes. Find the, you, all your spares. Yeah, that you I got just tons. Take off and throw them in a drawer. Bring yeah, that's what I do with them. Bring them. You may make somebody's day with that one day. <laughs> I'm Usually gonna hers. I'm gonna yeah, start bye. keeping. <laughs> <laughs> she'll tell me she'll she'll that's go. Good. Oh my god, did you find this button? There's no way I'm gonna be able to match that button. And about ten minutes later, she go. Woo, woo. That's why she goes. The the button gods so, are smiling. The sewing on, gods, the sewing are, gods smiling are smiling on me today. On me today. <laughs> That's because so after COVID hit, you know our our seamstress moved to Prairieville, so she, Kay's the same. She's our. She's got all her other jobs. 
plus that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Plus helping me on the counter, plus helping the girls in the evening. And they've been handling it by themselves lately. Uh, so we've been busy with other stuff. You we, know? And, and you good. know, it's interesting. Dane Arnold at iTrade Exchange, he was a tailor. That's what he did yes, before yes. he got in the iTrade Exchange business. Mm-hmm. But, Made custom shirts. Yeah, yeah. He and I have had that conversation. Yeah. So. Yeah. I told him, I said, maybe that's a service I might need to do. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. <laughs> Something else to the list. You say, Dane, on Wednesdays from on 9 Wednesdays. to 12, you have to work it quick and <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That's the deal. But, I like it. But we, we, we do everything. I mean, from leather. I got seven leather coats in a day from one lady. And they were all covered in mold. Now we're not oh, a, wow. a disclaimer we're here. We're not a professional <laughs> leather cleaner. Yeah. But I'm pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> and and uh, most of them were slick leather, you know, smooth leather. Yeah. And those come out m- most of the time really well. Occasionally a, one of them will go, Mm-mm, we didn't want you to touch me. But yeah. most of the time, how many did we get? Two or 300 after the flood? You know, wow. and hundreds of wedding dresses. Yeah, you're you're pretty much a professional, even yeah, though the, right. the disclaimer. Well, but there's so much. Uh-huh. In you know what that, you're doing. Well, they, you, you professional leather cleaners charge Rich. seventy five, eighty, a hundred dollars to clean a coat. I charge yeah. twenty five bucks. Yeah, but they'll take them, and after you get through, they'll respray mm-hmm. it, respray re-dye them, with the, re-dye them the color so that it matches the way it did before. Yeah. Well, if I'm real careful with them, if they're not extremely bad, yeah, most of the time that's not necessary. Right. Um, sometimes right. it is, yeah. and and the people will go. I just need it so I can wear it again. Yeah, you know. Yeah, and that's what we tell them when they come in. So. Sure, um, well, very good. And it, so obviously, mm-hmm. y'all are innovating your business, and you're doing all these things. We learned a lot today that we didn't know, such mm-hmm. as a, your app is a great thing. We definitely wanted to mention your 24 hour drop off. You know, you, you you handle commercial clients as well. I would ima- mm-hmm. I would imagine as you know, also just. Regular homeowners like me who come in there and drop a bunch of clothes off. You shouldn't even own an iron. Your husband should be ashamed of himself for even thinking that you need to iron a shirt. She'll she'll wash them and all, but she ain't ironing. That's that's where she draws a line, and she ain't ashamed to say it. And they're like, what are you doing? I'm like, don't worry about it. Yeah, that's (laughs) right. But you mentioned you mentioned the parish council, and then we kind yeah. of just blew past that. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, you know, I didn't want to get too far involved in if you didn't want to, but we no, can't. No. Miss K started looking at that watch, well, and I'm like, right, right. I just want to, sure. <laughs> to make sure we was okay for this. Now. Was something that we've always had good representation on the parish council in my district. Yes, and I, you know, I thought one day I want to do that. You yeah, know? I, I want to see you know, what I can do to help move our parish forward. Sure. And a lot of people don't understand that the parish council is just a legislative branch. We make the laws. We yeah. can't enforce anything. We can't do anything like that. That's for the parish president to handle. Yeah. Sheriff's office, people like that. Well, it got got time to run one time, and they, they changed the line. Mm-hmm. And I was told it wasn't to take me out of the district. It was to take two of us <laughs> out of the district that were going to run against somebody else. William Waldrop of TWFG Insurance in Denham Springs can service all of your insurance needs. Offering auto, life, health, and commercial insurance, William Waldrop of TWFG Insurance is a proud supporter of Local Leaders, the podcast. And I ended up in uh, Cindy Cindy Wales District. Yeah. My my daughter Olivia and Cindy's son Jeffrey have been Friends best friends since, since they went to school together. Went to school together. Yeah, they're both attorneys. Yeah. And Jeffrey's an attorney also. Yeah, and uh, that's Cindy, interesting. Cindy calls me. She goes, "Are you still going to run against me?" I said, "No, ma'am." <laughs> I said, I, "Whenever it gets where you don't want to run anymore, then I'll go." Yeah, I'll run because I, I mean we were busy back mm-hmm. then. We didn't. You know, this yeah. was in like, oh. You need another whatever. thing to do, like a whole yeah, right, yeah, right, right, right. Little kids at <laughs> right. home and stuff. And, yeah. you know, so anyway. Take, cause, so uh, it finally came time, and Kay goes, did you pray about it? I said, yeah, I prayed about it. And she goes, well, and? I said, he didn't answer me yet. I said, God don't answer me in the time frame that I want to answer. <laughs> he answers you whenever he gets That's ready right. to answer you. It's only his time. Yeah, she goes, right. well. You know, if you don't get an answer, then it's a no. You don't need to do this. 
Yeah. That's how we live. We, you know, we're not yeah. perfect people, but we believe that Jesus and God handles what. He at least gives us direction. Gives you, you, handle, direction. you have to do the rest. You gotta, yes. And you got to listen for it. And I'm hard to listen for it because I don't listen a lot. I talk a lot. Yeah. <laughs> I don't really? know if anybody noticed. <laughs> so, uh, you know, about a week later, I'm thinking, well, I'm not going to be able to run for the parish council. And it wasn't anything that was going bad except they were fighting up there all the time yeah. with each other between the parish president and the council. And I said, we're better than this. You yeah. know, we are. Yeah. And And, and it was just – personality disputes and different things. It just was clash mm -hmm. all the time. You'd look at one and you'd go, the meeting, and you go, that's not necessary. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we're all our, the people of Livingston Parish. So I'm in the back one day, and in strolls Jerry, Mr. Jerry Denton. Yeah. <laughs> Jerry comes in, and he hands me a little paper. I said, what's this? And it says, uh, read it. And it said, how to win local elections. And I said, well, Mr. Jerry, I appreciate that, but I think I've decided that I, I'm not going to run. He goes, oh, no, you're going to run. We need you. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have a choice. I said, but you're in the city. I said, I'm outside the city. He goes, your district borders all around the city of Dillon Springs, and we need right. you. Yeah. So I walked in the front, and I said, baby, Mr. Jerry brought me this. I said, maybe I'm supposed to run. She goes, no, he's being nice, you know, because Jerry's such a nice person. He's yeah. just a great mm -hmm. guy. And, uh so I walked to the back, and a little while later, they said, hey, Scooter, lady's at the counter. She needs you. God, dog, I'm just now And this whole time he's telling me, God's not answering God's me. Not answering, <laughs> God's not answering God's not answering me. So who knew God was Jerry Denton? Yeah, that's right. That's right. Like George Burns. So, yeah. so I walked to the front, and the lady goes, uh, I heard you were going to run for parish council. I said, well, you know, I, I, I don't think I am. She goes, we need you really badly, and we know that you're honest and you'll do a good job for yeah. us. Yeah. And I walked over to Kay. I said, and he was white as a ghost. I got tears in my eyes. I walked over. I said, look like I'm running for Parish Council. <laughs> so we ran. I didn't run. Yeah. We ran with my kids, with our friends. Yes. Walk up to people's doors. Ring the doorbell. Got my Scooter King. Vote for Scooter King. Yeah. You know, who's Scooter King? Me. <laughs> Soaking wet. So this fat guy walks up to your door, <laughs> burning up after a hard day at the shop. Yeah. Well, what are you going to do for us? I ain't got a clue. <laughs> I, I can tell you this. You won't see me calling out other public officials during a meeting. Yeah. If I got to handle it, we're going to handle it in the parking lot. Yeah. You know, before yeah. or after. Yeah. Um, I'll be respectful to the people of Livingston Parish. And I don't know. What else besides that I, there is to do? Yeah. But well, I can tell you, this man sitting next to me, he takes this job serious. 100%. They say, that's you good know. enough. We're voting for you. Yeah. <laughs> with with a, I don't have a clue. But yeah. He, and he didn't know anything about it. He didn't know there was gravity drainage districts oh. or, you know, so who handled anything. We get but, elected, and they go, uh, who are you going to appoint to the boards? I said, what boards? And they hand me a sheet, and there's like 14 of them. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, but I okay. guarantee you, you ask him right now, he knows every board, every yes. person. And who I put on it. Know, and, uh, different, he, he allows his people to, you know, to do their job, but, but he stays on, you know, yeah. informed. If there's, if there's and, something and so, coming up at one of the gravity drainage districts or the parts board or the library, but all of these different boards, the tourism board. Yeah. Um, I finally get, I didn't ever have an appointment to the tourism board, and we're expanding it. Buddy Mincy is taking care of expanding it to nine. Mm -hmm. So all nine councilmen will have an appointment on the tourism board. Okay. You know, mm -hmm. shouldn't you? The planning planning commission, we all have nine, we have nine because yeah. there's nine districts. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but I'll call in and go, what's going on with this? I, y'all need to look at this. I don't believe this is the right thing to do. I said, but it's up to y'all. Yeah. And I'm not going to be mad however y'all decide is the right thing. But just look at it hard. Yeah. You know? And they'll call but it back. he has say, done so much homework. And, you know, this is the kid who grew up in Holden, you know, yeah. doing drainage yeah. and playing oh, in the ditch. I used to build, and, build uh, dams and everything. And, so this drainage business. Oh, I yeah. Oh, it's up so much fun. Yeah. So I took her. I took her to Gravity One is my main drainage district. Yes. Okay? And mm -hmm. it's run by a really good board. Got a good manager. Lots of... Yeah. Uh, Money. Lots yeah. of projects. Lots of projects because mm -hmm. we get a half cent sales tax and an Avalorum tax of five mils. Fantastic. Okay. Mm -hmm. People just voted it back in when we got reelected year before mm -hmm. last yeah. for 15 years. Yeah. So they, 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 they appreciate it. They, they believe that it. works. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
So I bring her to the, I said, come on, we're going to go to the drainage meeting. <laughs> that was her. She did two, two, in two in one meeting, the first one and the last one. She goes, oh, my God, that's boring. I, said, I thought it was great. Come on, Miss Gay. You know? He's looking at all these different, you know. So oh, then, yeah. Then yeah. I got one better than that. So then we we formed a master plan review committee. Yeah. I pointed her. There you go. <laughs> so that she would have to go and deal with stuff. <laughs> That's unpaid. So oh, yeah. yeah. So you I could appoint that. her because there's no stipend. There's no nothing. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Well, I could even be on it if I wanted to. Sure. And I said, no, you got time. And she's like, okay, <laughs> yeah. it's for our parish. I'll do it. Yeah. yeah. And, and then COVID Fantastic. hit, and they hadn't been able to meet much in the past year, but um, well, I had uh, mm-hmm. told Miss Kay, you know, I I think you're doing a great job, and and uh, you're not my that. personal councilman, but I I pay a lot of attention to the parish council, and it, I just take a very big interest in it um, personally. Anything it, you need to tell us? No, I think y'all are doing a great no, job. I mean, about <laughs> you. Oh, I mean, no, 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 nothing, nothing, nothing. Uh, <laughs> but, but I will say, um, you know, I find you. You know, a lot of you guys up there are doing the best you can. But with you, um, I see a lot of honesty with with you. And, and me and Miss Kay talked about that. You're a genuine guy, and and uh, <laughs> I truly believe you, you. You do what you can to help people. Well, they don't, and, and they don't don't call me because I'll show up at your house. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> and, call, and look, that's a great thing. Guy called me one day on Linda Road. He said oh, they got a sub to, a trailer park next to my house, and all of their cesspools are overflowing and it's flooding. Uh, sewage, you know, and I don't deal with sewage. That's DHH. So, yeah. but man called me and he goes, uh, I'm having all this sewage running over here. And I've, I've done called everybody. I said, well, I'll be there in about six minutes. He goes, you coming to my house? I said, yeah, right now. I'm turning on Linda, <laughs> on, a, on a road now. And I said, I'll be there. So I pull up, went out there wading through a sewage, all out there in my tennis shoes. And sure enough, there was, there was sewage flowing out of cesspools from the trailer park. Wow. I called Miss Sam DeDrama. Now, this was the first six months, maybe. Yeah, it was long. I called Miss Sam. I said, Miss Sam, yeah. I said, man, I'm out here, and the whole guy's yard's full of sewage. My brother-in-law died suddenly, and now my sister and her kids have to sell their home. That's why I told my husband we could not put off getting life insurance any longer. An agent offered us a 10-year, $500,000 policy for nearly $50 a month. Then we called SelectQuote. SelectQuote found us identical coverage for only $19 a month, a savings of $369 a year. Whether you need a $500,000 policy or a $5 million policy, SelectQuote could save you more than 50% on term life insurance. For your free quote, go to SelectQuote.com. SelectQuote.com. That's SelectQuote.com. SelectQuote. We shop. You save. Full details on example policies at selectquote.com slash commercials. With Lucky Land Slots, you can get lucky just about anywhere. This is your captain speaking. Uh, We've got clear runway and the weather's fine, but we're just going to circle up here a while and uh, get lucky. No, no, nothing like that. It's just these cash prizes add up quick. So I suggest you sit back, keep your tray table upright, and start getting lucky. Play for free at luckylandslots.com. Are you feeling lucky? No purchase necessary. Void where prohibited by law. 18 plus terms and conditions apply. See website for details. Oh, well, let me get out there. Yeah. <laughs> he don't deal with sewage either. Yeah. So they look at it and everything. They said, well, we'll contact DHH and call Kenan out at Livingston. He's a, a guy for DHH from Livingston. Yeah. And nothing happened. So the guy called me back. He goes, I got Channel 2 coming. It was uh, Cheryl two. Mercedes. Oh. Got Channel 9, huh? Yeah. Got Channel 9 coming. Uh-oh. Cheryl Mercedes said, you going to come? I said, yeah, I'm coming. <laughs> <laughs> I come over there, and I'm like, yeah. I said, well, we're going to get this fixed. I said, I don't I don't care whose issue it is, but this can't happen. I yeah. said, and we don't have anything to say. So finally they forced the guy to tie in on city sewage. He put a lift station in, tied it. Filled all the cesspools, crashed his old sewage pond in the back. Yeah. Now the guy's yard's just nice and neat, you know. There you go. And the guy put a Shannon Sloan sign up that was running <laughs> against me. <laughs> After all them times I stood in sewage I'll in his yard. Darn. And I'm like, all right, I'm going to remember that. Yeah. I don't remember that. Yeah. I, I mean, I do, you but do. It, it has no bearing on 
how I'm a, I don't care who puts who sign up. Yeah. I'm your councilman. That's it. You I know, mean, when it, the day yeah. after the, 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 if I got 50 plus one, I won. I don't care who you supported. Yeah. And we can all learn a lot from that. That's right. You know, somebody gets disgruntled with my business and they said, well, I'm not coming back in here. I'm going to such and such. I said, well, if you ever need us in the future, you know, you're, you're welcome. Please come back. And no, well, the grass wasn't greener where I went. I'm, you know. Yeah, and, and then some people scooter. You know, they support somebody. Maybe they they have a personal relationship, yeah, sure. mm-hmm. and it doesn't mean they're necessarily they're against, against somebody else. Yeah. They mm-hmm. they just uh, might have a relationship. That's very hard. Mm-hmm. You know, to know that you went and talked to someone, and they was going to support you, and you helped them with an the issue, and then they supported somebody else. Yeah, but the day after, you got to forget it. Sure, and uh, yeah. And maybe maybe that person will see what you're doing and say, oh, they hey, did. man. He, they, yeah. he came and apologized to me. Really? He came, That's huge. He goes, man, I'm sorry. I did you wrong. I said, you didn't do me wrong. Yeah. I said, I still won. That's right. I actually told him that. Now, had you lost, he'd have done you yeah, wrong. Yeah, he did. I told yeah. him. Well, you sure did. I said, well, that's, that's who it. I'm voting for. I said, well, I got one vote, and I just canceled yours. <laughs> <laughs> I got a little snippy for a second, and I said, he'll call me back. He need, he'll need it. Need. And, see, we're not supposed to. And, and people will go, well, my previous council person, she wouldn't come out here in my yard. And I'm like, my goodness, it was Miss Cindy Well. You want her wading through your sewage in your yard? Yeah. I got told right away by the the powers that be, that's not your job. You're a councilman. You just make laws. You don't need to go see anybody. You don't need to go help anybody. You don't. You just make laws. Tell them to call DPW. Tell them to call the parish president. Tell them. I said I don't think you know me very well. Yeah. I said it don't matter whether I'm the dog catcher, the councilman, the parish president, a state representative. I'm gonna go way above what I'm supposed to do. Yeah. Cause that's how I was raised. Very good. You know? And, yeah. uh, yeah. And that's so right. anyway, it's a, it's a portion of our life now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And, a, you know, at least for three more years and, uh, then we'll see where we're going there. Mm-hmm. And, uh, we have to ask Jerry Denton. I yeah. <laughs> no, I gotta, that was great. I got to ask yes, God if Jerry shows back up. I'm like, well, I got to do it, whatever it would be. That's right. That's right. That's right. Well, Scooter, where can folks find your physical locations to take advantage of everything that we talked about? We already talked about you, Walker. Uh, we mm-hmm. talked about uh, right here Railroad, is it? Railroad, yeah, the Railroad, Railroad Avenue. Avenue. That's where yeah, the 397. Is. 397 East Railroad. Uh, mm-hmm. downtown Denham. If you come in north on Hummel, as soon as you cross the tracks, look to the right, and you can't miss that brick, big red brick building. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, and, of big, course, Watson. You have Watson, that Watson, mm-hmm. uh, Watson and Walker, and then now Diversion. So. Down we Diversion. will have a sign. A big one. On, mm-hmm. In the next few weeks, Danny's going to make me a sign to go over uh, the, the, um, the laundromat, the, laundromat yeah. sign. Mm-hmm. Okay, uh, good. That'll say quick and handy, dry cleaners mm-hmm. and laundry. And... Mm-hmm. Uh, That'll be and that. Get on your app if Walker. you want us to pick up. We can yeah, do big that. thing. I'm going to download that Look, app. As the soon best as thing we're done. This lady will be over there sewing, and she'll her phone will go. Bzzz. She goes, "Ooh, pickup alert!" <laughs> <laughs> and I says, "Is a new one?" Yep. I said, "All right, you know it's working." But it much took, more exciting than those drainage meetings, this right? Is <laughs> much more. This has been like what three years it's, that she's been while, offering yeah. this, and it's just now, you know. What we've heard from other dry cleaners, there's no amount of advertising that gets you dry cleaning business. Right. And I'm like, something's got to work. Well, we've tried Podcasting is the only thing I would work. So we'll see. I was hoping that's where you would get from now. That's Uh, right. So now it's all all on you. It's all on me. I I got the pressure on. I'll help you a little bit too, you know. (laughs) Yeah. We all in business. We all in business. We all in business. Uh, And you are the Jeffersons of Livingston Parish. We are. And we were moving on up because when we we went into the dry cleaning business, we were in a 700 square foot frame house in Satsuma right by the dump. Yeah. yeah it's still there. It belongs to my sister. But, you know, uh, she didn't move on up with the rest of it. But yeah. I'm she, she's in the nursing home. She had a stroke, but that's a whole different story. But, oh. but uh, it's a it's a far cry from what we came up with. Yeah. I mean, yeah. you know. Yeah. Where we started. Well, uh, it's a sign of hard work, and it's a sign mm-hmm. of dedication and your passion for what you do. Tell you, when I go in that building it. every day from what we were in on – on Centerville Street, 
It's yeah. Yes, it's much more expensive to run that kind of place than that old no elect no no air conditioning in in the old shop. Yeah. But it's you walk in and you go. You proud something of to be it. proud you know, of it. Yeah, and you go over there absolutely. and you hit the little thing and the, the, the heater comes on. Yeah. You know, cause yeah. <laughs> oh, look at that. <laughs> warm air. Yeah, warm air. But it's, it's a great it's a great thing. Very so. blessed. Yes. Fantastic. Oh, absolutely yes. blessed is a way mm-hmm. to do it. Yes. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Now, uh, you have a Facebook page and it's, it's pretty interesting. Got some neat little stuff on there. I was scrolling mm-hmm. through it yesterday. So please go like, uh, give a like to uh, Quick and Handy Cleaners on Facebook. Uh, you can just search "quick and handy cleaners." It'll pop up. You know, it would have a lot more if she'll go. She'll go. Oh my God! You're gonna go restore that dress? And I said, Yes, I am. She goes, Take a before and after picture. <laughs> I always get the after one. I, yeah, you know, I I'm knew like, that was. I'm tough. too busy working. Yeah, I didn't think about the before. And I go, yeah. Oh my goodness, that was perfect to showcase what we do. It is. And, I knew about the buttons christening, because somebody put it gowns, on Facebook. Christening mm-hmm. gowns. Yeah. Over time, we'll bring some of them will come in at 70, 80 years old. Yeah. And I'll mm-hmm. they'll be yellow. Yeah. From, you know, sure. and be sitting up 20, 30 years in between children or grandchildren. Mm-hmm. And I take that thing and do it all by hand. And when it comes out and you look at it and you go, she'll go, oh my God. My employ my girls in the front, Bridget and, and, and uh, Natalie will go. Is that the same dress? <laughs> yeah. Although they had a white coat that came from Diversion this mm-hmm. past week, and Natalie went, "It was white." <laughs> yes, ma'am. It was. I, yeah, did, one I point. didn't do that coat. My dry cleaner did yeah. that coat. You better give yeah. a shout out to your dry cleaner, dry real quick, Tanya. Tanya, Tanya Clark, Hook Finn Clark. Mm-hmm. Uh, her and, and people from her family have worked for. Quick and handy for generations. Her yep. mom still works for us, um, and these she people cares come as to work for us. Do, you know? I, I passed by Martha. Martha got to be in her sixties. I passed by Martha the other day. I said, "Martha, I love you." <laughs> she said, "Oh, I love you too." And and it's true. We, we me do. and Tanya, we she calls me her brother. Yeah, you know because we were raised in quick and handy. Because yeah. when her mom would come, she was a little girl. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, and I was a maybe teenager, mm-hmm. you know. And so my mom taught her mom how to do things exactly some, what, the right way, you know, the sure. way you should do it. Yeah. And she passed it on to her daughter, who is now my my dry cleaning manager. She runs the back. Mm-hmm. I mean, she's she's it. So. You know. Fantastic. And we these, these people, people. Like, we got a lot of good people back there, and they all work, and they work. Absolutely. Work. They came back to work during yeah. this COVID after we had shut down. We wouldn't need people but maybe a couple hours a day, mm-hmm. two or three days a week. Mm-hmm. And they said, can we just come back to work regular? <laughs> I said, well, I can't pay you. It's, it doesn't matter. Wow. We yeah. want to be here. That's awesome. They said, if mm-hmm. this ship sinks, yeah, where are we going to go? Yeah. Wow, man. You know, that, we you know, we cry huge. and we cry a lot, but, you yeah. know. Yeah. Uh, and and that's why we're still here because I don't think without everybody pitching in we oh, would be here. Absolutely not. Yeah. We would have had to shut down. Mm-hmm. And uh, well, I thank God we're you're still just, here. Hopefully, yep. we're just a few months, all of us, from climbing over the top of that hill, and then we can we can you know get a little smooth sailing. And uh, if the gas prices, I paid three oh five yesterday. Uh. Okay. <laughs> we don't want no, anyhow. Yeah. So so that's where we are. You Perfect. Know, we work together every day. Yep. I love it. I love it. And look, that's a testament to it to a people that just love each other because yeah. you, you know you work around each other twenty four seven, and you're still alive. Off. Yeah, we don't. You haven't killed him yet. No, so not yet. You probably today, today's not. Today's still young. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, so, well, with you. <laughs> <laughs> I do want to thank both of you for yes. coming on the show. I'm a longtime customer, and yeah. I vouch for everything y'all said today. I'm very proud to have y'all as well, my We, we care cleaners. about the well, Thank you. Well, we, we really appreciate do. you. Thank, thank you, you Jim. very yeah, much. Thank you, Jim. If any listeners have not had the pleasure of checking out Quick and Handy Cleaners, please do so. They are some awesome folks, and let's support them as much as we can. I do want to thank the little Tasmanian devil behind the scenes, Casey McMurray for yes, all she Casey. does. Thank you, Casey. Yes, for her role as executive producer of Local Leaders the Podcast. She's invaluable to my success. I want to thank everyone out there for viewing and listening. We're now up to 5,000 local subscribers on YouTube, and our average episode views have jumped to over 6,000 local people. Please continue to like, comment, subscribe, and share 
Local Leaders of Podcasts on social media. Thank you to all my sponsors, including Premier Credit, Trisha Johnston Realtor, Big Mike, Sports Bar and Grill, William Waldrop of TWFG Insurance, Sport and Center, Black Sheep Creative, SR Enterprise Painting, Elisa Verrett and Tears and Custom Workroom, Gee Yachts Plumbing, Tiffany Seacard of Home Key Mortgage, and Buddy's Barbecue of Denham Springs. Until next time, I am Jim Chapman reminding you to love your community, support local business, and keep leading. Thank you. Thank you. Now is the time, more than ever, to support local business. Elisa Verrett Interiors and Custom Workroom is working hard to use Made in the USA products for all their clients' window coverings. Schedule your appointment today for a consultation on Roman shades, drapes, shutters, outdoor sunshades, and even woven woods. Need a virtual appointment? No problem. Call Elisa at area code 225-955-1135. Alisa Verrett Interiors and Custom Workroom, a proud sponsor of Local Leaders, the podcast. Okay, round two. Name something that's not boring. A laundry? Ooh, a book club. Computer solitaire, huh? Ah, oh, sorry, we were looking for Chumba Casino. That's right. ChumbaCasino.com has over 100 casino style games. Join today and play for free for your chance to redeem some serious prizes. ChumbaCasino.com. No purchase necessary. Full work limited by law. 18 plus terms and conditions apply. See website for details. Hey guys, it is Ryan. I'm not sure if you know this about me, but I'm a bit of a fun fanatic when I can. I like to work, but I like fun too. It's a thing. And now the truth is out there. I can tell you about my favorite place to have fun. Chumba Casino. They have hundreds of social casino style games to choose from with new games games released each week. You can play for free anytime anywhere and each day brings a new chance to collect daily bonuses. So join me in the fun. Sign up now at chumbacasino.com. No purchase necessary. BGW report prohibited by law. See terms and conditions. 18+. Plus.